Hey everybody, how are you? For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Jamie Fenn, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this outline effect in DaVinci Resolve. Now, this is one of many effects that I did in my cinematic skydiving blog, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it because it's pretty cool and it's really easy to do. By the way, this is my YouTube, and if you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. Okay, so let's open up DaVinci Resolve. Here we have a clip. This is a beautiful arch in the desert, and this is a great clip to do this on because there's a lot of hard contrasty edges. So the first thing you want to do is hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard, click on that clip and drag it up to duplicate it. The next thing we want to do is come up to our effects library, then select Open Effects and scroll down to where you see Edge Detect. Then drag that on top of this clip. Let's go ahead and turn off the effects library. Then what we want to do is come up to the inspector, select inspector unless it's already open. Then we want to select effects. Then under the edge detect where it says mode, we want to select RGB edges and select grayscale edges. Now what we want to do is come back over here where it says video in the inspector, select video and come down to where it says composite. Let's go ahead and change the composite to screen. Next what we want to do is come back up to the effects in our inspector. So depending on the clip that you're trying to do this effect on, you will get different results. But what I like to do is turn up the brightness a little bit. So now you can see how the edges are being affected in this clip. So once you have your settings the way you'd like them, you want to come back over to the video tab. Something that's really easy to do and nothing too crazy is just to move the position over. But you have to keep in mind, unless you want to have this line in the shot, you're going to have to zoom up the clip to make it look a little bit bigger because it's detecting the edge of the clip itself. Once you've adjusted the position, you can come back to the effects. You can even change the edge color and say we want it to be orange or blue. Pretty neat, right? So what I did in the intro is I went to the point where she opened her arms and I started the outline clip right there. Then what I did is I came up here and set a keyframe for the zoom. Then I went to the point where I wanted the effect to stop. I set another keyframe. Then what I did is I right clicked on the clip, came to Retime Curve. I selected the down arrow and I went to the zoom X and Y. Then I came to the first keyframe. I selected it and then I came up here and selected the smooth option. Then what that does is it creates a point. And I kind of just dragged that up like that. And then I came over here to the next keyframe, selected the smooth option as well. And now we get something that looks like this. Then in order to get a good smooth fade from the outline to the normal clip, I dragged the fade of the clip right to the point of where that keyframe ended. Here's a little bonus tip that I found out by mistake. With this clip selected, let's come into our color tab and delete all of the color grade that we had for it. That is if you had a color grade. For this specific clip, I did. When I delete that, the edge detection actually becomes a little bit more detailed, and I really enjoyed that look. It's not quite just the contrasty edges, but it does get really detailed as far as how the effect looks on the clip. Definitely keep that in mind when you do this effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see my cinematic skydiving vlog, check that out right there. It's got a ton of really cool visual effects goodies. And also, here's a playlist if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, I will catch you in my next video.